Hello, my name is Yali Huang. I'm a PhD student in the MRC Center for Regenerative Medicine at the University of Edinburgh. I study in a developmental biology lab. The image you see here is an eight days old mouse embryo. The red dot shows individual cells in this embryo. The cells in green are stained for protein called NKX 2.5. It is a critical protein for the heart development. In other words, the green structure you see here is an early developing heart. In our group, we use mouse embryos and cell lines as models to study how a fertilized egg can give rise to different type of cells in the body. In the mouse embryo development, it takes about five days before the embryos start to implant into the uterus. Mouse embryonic stem cells are derived from three and a half days old embryo. These cells can be maintained in the petri dish in the lab now. Also, when injected back to the mouse embryos, embryonic stem cells can generate chimeric mice with a high efficiency. The ability to form chimeras is considered as a gold standard for pluripotent stem cells. A couple of years ago, researchers isolated another source of pluripotent cells from post-implantation mouse embryos, named epiblast stem cells. Interestingly, these mouse cells share many features with human embryonic stem cells. Although epistem cells have most stem cell features, they can hardly generate chimeras after injected back to the pre-implantation embryos, unless selected for a rare population. Without efficient chimera formation ability, it's difficult to know whether epi stem cells represent a true type of stem cells in the embryo. We think the best way to test the chimera formation ability of epi stem cells is to place them to post-implantation embryos where they are originally derived from. In our lab, we can derive epi stem cells from the embryos and culture them in the plates. We can also insert exogenous gene into the cells to express the proteins that we want, such as green fluorescent protein. Another feature of our group is that we can dissect post-implantation mouse embryos from the uterus and culture them in a rotated incubator up to two days. This short video shows an embryo just after two days culture, which is about 10 days old in total. You can notice a consistent heartbeat. The red blood cells are pumping out from the small heart. Also, the blood is floating inside of the vessels through the whole body. Extra utero culture of mouse embryos has been in use for several decades now. It is generally accepted that, if supplied with right conditions, the embryos can grow as well as they're in their mothers. In our work, we graft about 10 to 16 green epi stem cells into defined regions of 7 days old post-implantation embryos and cultured them for 1 or 2 days. We then saw the green cells had not only integrated, 
but had also proliferated well in the overwhelming majority of the hosts. The next step was to determine whether the dispersed green cells differentiated correctly to acquire the same identity of their host-derived neighbors. Therefore, we section the cultured embryos and assess them for cell integration. Immunohistochemistry on these embryo sections confirmed that the descendants of green epistem cells integrated effectively into all three germ layers of the embryos. And the cells express right markers, characteristics of their host locations. More importantly, some of them even become functional myocardial cells in the heart, which express in NKX 2.5. In summary, we have shown that when placed into posing plantation embryos, epistem cells can form chimeric embryos at a high frequency. These cells can be considered functionally equivalent to posing plantation epiblast in the embryos. Also, our study validates the use of epistem cells for producing biologically relevant cell types in vitro.